くだらない。行くぞ。
行くぞ行くぞ<笑>この日ついぞ訪れたか行くぞ。
水は汲んできたんまだ万人堂の裏を探してみたらええかも。Lay a hand on me. Have you fetched the water? Have a look behind Wan Min Restaurant. Chef Mao is a professional chef. He must keep a store of pure water. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, 
Like a mist that captures the last light of dusk, mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven! Mr. Zhang Li's probably been waiting a while. Huh. <laughs> Adventurer, think you can last a round against me? We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhang Li. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets! And not one less! Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it! The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for... So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah. I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time?
safe. <sighs> All things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But... If they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up, and still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. <laughs> Did you have something to say, youngster? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long.
What a weird thing to be proud of. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Eh? Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice! So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. In and out in no time. You youngsters and adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, uh, Hyman kinda knows what you mean, but is also kinda confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Huh. Boring! Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside.
Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon! 
one's heard that name before. Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen. I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man, he just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Eh, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I say. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I say. Fifteen thousand mora, not one less. That's the lowest I'm going. End of story. Hey, don't get mad. Uh, guess we have no choice but to pay in full. Let me tell you how it is. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. 
We are still missing some wooden implements of... No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to it. Useless! Should I save this money? A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. This is all you've got? Then no can do. Child? No, no, no. He's putting up the money? Uh, still no. Uh, wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and... Find me a high-quality Lotus Head. I'll consider that my detour fee paid, and go find What's-His-Face Child. How about it? Guess we've got no choice. Have you brought the goods? Oh, that looks good. I'm hitting the kitchen tonight, and it's not often that I get to use such fresh and high-end ingredients. Well, I'll head to Eugene Terrace in a moment. I won't be late. <laughs> Worthless! All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Simon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? 
The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear. Oh, so many medicines, but no cure for heartache. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, 